Cheekies, we always try and come up with different oyster dishes, whether it'll be in, in an oyster vinaigrette with uh, asparagus. Some people don't like raw oysters, so we do do a bit of cooking with oysters now. Um, and it's a you know pie. In the old days, it used to, they used to do beef and oyster pie. That's not really what we want to do here. We don't really do much meat. We're purely a fish restaurant, and Jay Shiki's was originally an oyster seller. So that, that's why we have a big association with oysters. So today we're doing three dishes. The first dish will be plain uh, oysters, just opened up in the shell, just served with two uh, dressings. One which will be a hogwash dressing, which I acquired from San Francisco. And the other is the classic uh, red wine shallot, or the French call it mignonette. Uh, and for this dish we use the native oysters, which are in season now. The uh, natives always when there's an hour in a month, but we do use oysters all season, which we use rock as well. The second dish is like a take on a, probably a fish and chips, but using the Japanese version, doing a tempura. This is uh, using a very, uh, well, the traditional Japanese tempura, deep frying it and, and serving it with an Asian dressing on a bed of uh, wasabi, uh, again, chili, soya and mirin and a little bit of uh, lime again. It's a very light way of eating. I think a lot of people these days like to have fresh flavours and an oyster is so natural that you don't want to you know, disguise that flavour. And then the third one is a classic. I used to do a dish like this when I worked in a place before, Marco, Pierre White, but we just adapted it. It's using very, very expensive ingredients. It's a very elegant dish. What this is, is a poached oyster on a bed of scrambled egg with uh, caviar on top and finished with the champagne butter sauce. My colleague has selected uh, a wine for each dish that we are going to try today. One of the most classic matches and also one of my favourites is oysters with champagne. Today we have native oysters with Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar with shallots and uh, Billicard Salmon Rosé champagne. Usually all the champagne uh, works perfectly with the oysters uh, because of the acidity, but I believe that Billicard Salmon Rosé uh, brings up more the characteristics of the oysters. It is a Pinot Noir based champagne with citrusy acidity, uh, beautiful minerality, fineness and elegant boost, but also can work as a twist of lemon to the oysters. Uh, sometimes the simplest things in life is also the best. Another dish we're talking about today is uh, the tempura oysters with the wasabi dressing. Here we match the Grüner Veltriner, an uh, important variety of grape from Austria. Most of the people try to find a classic combination like a sable, Riesling or even some bay because of the acidity. Grüner Veltriner is a wine that can have the acidity and the minerality as the other wines but also have the spiciness. This spiciness you can match with a wasabi dressing because of the chili and the jalapenos. It's an alternative uh, choice of wine uh, from Austria, and as the Austrian says, uh, when they drink in uh, Grüner Veltliner, is that they, it's like drinking liquid stone, and it refers the freshness, the minerality, and the acidity of the wine. Another dish we have today, it's a champagne poached oysters with scrambled eggs and caviar. It's a very elegant, but also very rich and very creamy dish. That's why we decided to match this dish with the Sancerre uh, Maxim, a very unusual wine produced in old vines in a very specific type of soil and fermented in very old uh, oak barriques. That gives the wine a richer and creamier texture. The salinity of the Javia matches perfectly here with the Sancerre. Also, the acidity of the Sancerre cuts through the richness and the creaminess of the butter, the cream and the eggs. So here we have a very elegant dish, matches beautifully with this amazing sunset. Mm -hmm. 